Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. I'm starting off with CMG only because this one will be interesting for tomorrow. Um, you can see here it closed at $414 and it's up after hours. It's another up 28 bucks. Uh, Pershing Square said it has got like almost a 10% stake in Chipotle and it said that after the close, so it's shooting up. Now something like that on a stock like this that's been hammered, uh, it's most likely going to get a lot more short covering. So um, it is something that's playable uh, tomorrow morning. And just keep in mind that something like that typically will keep, uh, you know, it'll keep on going typically or trade sideways. So it's a good one to look at selling puts on in the morning. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to know this kind of stuff before it happens, but that is a way to play kind of information like that. Okay. All right. So that being said, let's look at a couple of interesting plays. So the first thing I want to point out here is that I'm not a big fan of the indexes and the way they're acting. Um, I'm not short the indexes. I'm not planning to short the indexes. In fact, there are some pockets of strength out there that look quite attractive, which is what we're going to talk about here in a second. Uh, but these things just won't go down. And even though, um, you know, even though we're just kind of trading sideways here, you can see that we actually have a new, what I would call a medium buy signal. Okay, this is the the ready fire aim kind of an indicator here and that's what I'd call kind of a medium buy signal uh, so it's interesting in that you know this there's just nobody's selling here money's coming from Europe wherever it is I don't I don't care I just I'm not as interested in the indexes except as a hedging mechanism meaning that if it looks like um, things are gonna roll over and die okay because remember on the daily chart we do have a squeeze it's possible though after the non-farm payrolls uh, less unlikely, it's possible that this trigger's short, right? If it triggers short, then yes, I want to be all in, um, especially these low volume rallies. But the idea here is that, look, you know, money, money flow is money flow. And right now money's flowing in here. We, we continue to run up against this tree line. But at some point, if the squeeze fires long, this could really get going. And if that's the case, then what I want to do is I want to be in the stocks that are attracting the most money right now. Okay, I don't want to be long the spy. I want to be long the stocks that are, you know, that are doing well regardless, but with the market rallying, they're going to get that little extra boost. Okay, think of it this way as like it's like a honey badger that doesn't care what the market's doing. Well, guess what? It's going to do a little bit better if the market is sailing um in in its general direction as opposed to fighting it. Okay? So what what are those stocks? So a good example of that would be Facebook. So now Facebook here, it's had a squeeze, okay? It's been an early squeeze for quite a while. Uh, but while that's all happening, we're also getting what I would call, you know, institutional buy signals, okay? And I'll talk more about this in a second. Institutional uh, buy signals here, okay? You can see, look, we tested the 50% retracement here. No institutions cared. We tested it here, no institutions cared. But when we tested it here, they did care, okay? And that is the kind of stocks that I'm interested in here. Okay, so what, what is this and what does it mean? So, so what this indicator is, and it's not just the indicator, but it's the philosophy and the process around the indicator and other tools, okay? And I'm gonna be doing a class on this on Saturday, September 10th. Okay, and we're going to be doing live trading on the 13th, 15th, and 16th. But the idea here is that our institutions in line at the level that you're looking at or not, okay? Because the idea here is that there's going to be various support and resistance levels. And why is it that a level, you know, here, like, say, for example, you got the 382, the 50, and the 618. Why does sometimes the 50 hold, sometimes the 382, and sometimes the 618? You know, if you're buying the 382, but the institutions are down here at the 618, you're going to get stopped, and it's going to reverse and go higher, and that can be frustrating. So, so part of this is knowing, and this is an example of that. So here you can see it's like, okay, here's the S&Ps, right? They come down to the 382, and you want to buy them. You get stopped out. You want to buy them at the 50, you get stopped out. You want to buy them at the 618, you get stopped out. You want to buy them at the 786, you get stopped out. You want to buy them at double bottom support, you get stopped out. But finally here at the 1272 extension to the downside, institutions step in and rip this thing higher, okay? Now, if you knew at that moment in time to 
not buy the dip, but instead short it, because that's where the institutions were shorting, then great, you made money on the trade while other people were buying the dip and getting frustrated. But the key is to know, you know, when when a market is rallying over, when is it okay to buy the dip or when should you be shorting, right? Or if it's rallying, when is it okay to short that rally, right? Or uh, when you should be going with that momentum. And that's a huge part of this. And I love this analogy here because, you know, whatever support or resistance you like to use. So let's say a market's going down, right? So you have pivots, you have Fibonacci levels, you have Fibonacci clusters, you have voodoo lines, you have prior support or prior resistance. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But if the institutions, okay, are not backing those levels, this is what it's going to be like. So the overall idea here is that if you're looking at something and say that a market is pulling back, right? You're like, oh, I really want to buy it. Well, if institutions are not here, it's going to be like this. You're just going to get, it'll rip right through it, and then it'll find the level of institutional support, and then from there it'll rip higher. And what can get frustrating for a lot of people is that they'll sit there and they'll buy this, get stopped out, and then it turns around and goes higher. And it can get so frustrating to the point where they just miss the entire move instead of getting back in. Right. And so if you can tee it up where you're actually of all, you know, and, and there's usually a pocket of levels. Right. So let's say pick your stock. You know, let's say Google's coming down into support and there could be levels, various levels, pivots, fibs, extensions, voodoo lines, you know, from a range of 800 to 780. Right. And so if you decide to buy the 798, but it goes down to 780, you're going to get your head ripped off, even though it's holding the support zone before taking off. And so that's the whole idea here is that understanding all these various support and resistance levels, but trying to find out as best we can with this new tool and um, you you know, different ways to look at it, where are the institutions willing to step in? Where are they ready to step in? So that's what we got. I'm not going to read the whole sales page to you. If, if this makes sense, here's the deal. For the basic class is the Saturday class. It includes the indicator, okay? So the, the indicator that I'm talking about that I showed you on there, it includes that indicator. Plus, we're going to be going through and showing how to use it. It's going to be myself, Henry, and Carolyn talking about Fibonacci clusters, the voodoo line, support and resistance, why some levels work better than others, and how to use this to time it. And then, of course, how to play it. What type of option strategies do you use? Does it work with futures and forex? Hint, yes, very strongly. Okay. This also includes a lot of bonuses. If you're newer to options, there is a brand new guide to trading options that's included for free. Uh, and again, just if you go to this page, scroll down, you'll see all the bonuses that are included. There's a lot, okay? And then for those of you that are interested in going, like, okay, that's great. I like to be taught the theory, but I also want to see what happens with it live, okay? I'm willing to trade this stuff live for three days using my own money and you can just kind of look over my shoulder in this an online environment. I'm also, for the first time, Carolyn Broden is going to be flying in from Las Vegas and we'll be sitting side by side and comparing notes together. This will be September 10th, 13th and uh, so, September 13th, 15th, and 16th. The 10th is the Saturday class. And that's $9.97 and is, includes that. Now, just so you guys know, this is early bird pricing. This will go up to six ninety seven. dollars okay? Um, as well as 1197, and I want you guys, if you if you're thinking about, wow, this looks amazing, I want to do it, sign up now so you can get the lower pricing. Again, for all the details, go to simplertrading.com forward slash bullseye. This is going to be a great Saturday class. This is going to be a great live trading class, and you guys are going to love this tool. All right, have a good one, and we'll see you at the next update.